Now let us discuss about implementation of 4 by 1 multiplexer using 2 by 1 multiplexer. Uh, so here the required multiplexer is 4 by 1 multiplexer. We know that 4 by 1 multiplexer has 4 inputs and it produces one output. Whereas available multiplexer is 2 by 1 multiplexer. So 2 by 1 multiplexer has 2 inputs and it produces one output. So first we have to find out how many 2 by 1 multiplexers are required. So in order to determine uh, the required number of multiplexers, so what we have to do is, uh, so number of multiplexers required. So number of multiplexers required. Uh, so here required, uh, uh, required multiplexer has 4 inputs. So we have to divide required, num required multiplexer uh, uh, number of data inputs by available multiplexer number of data inputs. So 4 by 2 is equal to 2. So at the first level we require 2 2 by 1 multiplexers. Okay. Uh, next again here we got 2. So again we have to divide this 2 by 2. So now we got 1 here. So at the second level we require 1 multiplexer. So here we have to divide uh, this 4 by 2 until we will get 1. Okay. Uh, so at the first level, how many multiplexers are required? 2 2 by 1 multiplexers. At the second level, 1 2 by 1 multiplexer is required. So the formula is very very simple. So required multiplexer has 4 inputs, whereas available multiplexer has 2 inputs. So divide this 4 by 2 until we will get 1. So 4 by 2 is equal to 2. So at the first level, we require 2 multiplexers. Next, divide. Next, we have to divide this 2 by this 2. So, 2 by 2 is equal to 1. So, at the second level, we require 1 multiplexer. So, at the first level, we require 2 multiplexers. 2, 2 by 1 multiplexer. So, this is the first multiplexer. 2 by 1 max. And this is the second multiplexer. This is the second multiplexer. 2 by 1 multiplexer. Okay. So, we know that a 2 by 1 multiplexer has 2 inputs. So, these are the 2 inputs. And... Uh, uh, 2 by 1 multiplexer has 2 inputs. Uh, next, uh, at the first level, uh, we need to have same selection input. Why? Because these 2 multiplexers are maintained at the same level. So, 2 multiplexers at 1 level. So, here 2 by 1 multiplexer means uh, we can write this as 2 power 1. So, 2 power 1 means we require 1 selection input. 1 selection input. So, let that selection input is yes not. Yes not. Here the selection input must be same. Why? Because these two are at the same level. So, S0 is the selection input. Uh, next, next, at the second level, at the second level, how many multiplexers are required? Only one multiplexer. So, this is the second level multiplexer. So, only one multiplexer is required. Next, this multiplexer accepts two inputs. So, one input from output of the first multiplexer, second input from output of the second multiplexer. So, this multiplexer should also have only one selection input. Uh, but this is at the next level. So let us assume that here the selection input is S1. So the selection input uh, at this level, the selection or control input at this level is S0. Whereas here uh, the selection input is S1. So it will produce the output. So let that output is denoted by Y. Okay. Now we know the truth table for the 4 by 1 multiplexer. So we know that uh, a 4 by 1 multiplexer has two selection inputs, S1 and S0. Whereas the output is Y. So, if the selection inputs are 0, 0, then the output is I0. If the selection inputs are 0, 1, then the output is second input. If the selection inputs are 1, 0, then the output is third input I2. If the selection inputs are 1, 1, then output is the fourth input. So, here I0, I1, I2, or I3 are nothing but the inputs to the data inputs of the multiplexer. Okay. Here, this I0, I1 is nothing but first multiplexer inputs. Next, I2, I3 are nothing but second multiplexer inputs. Okay. Uh, now, we, now, we have to check whether this diagram is correct or not by checking whether we are getting this truth table or not. Okay. So, here what is the combination? S1 and S0 is 0. So, here S1 is 0. Whereas, what is S0? 0. S0 is 0. S0 is 0. Okay. So, here 0 means what will happen? The first data input will be selected as the output. So, output of this multiplexer is first to data input that is I0. So, here also selection input is 0. 
So the output is first to data input. What is first to data input? I2, I2. Here what is the selection input? 0. So 0 means first to data input will be displayed as the output. What is the first to data input? I0. So this is correct. Okay. Uh, now let us see the next combination. S1 is 0, S0 is 1. S1 is 0, S1 is 0. Whereas what is S0? S0 is 1. So here S0 is 1. So we have to substitute 1 here. Okay. We have to substitute 1 here. Okay. So here the selection input is 1. So we will get the second input as the output. What is the second input? I1 as the output. Here the selection input is 1. So we will get second input. What is the second input? I3 as the output. Whereas for this multiplexer, what is the selection input? 0. So 0 means we will get first to data input as the output. What is the first to data input? I1. So I1 is the output. So this combination is also correct. Next combination, S1 is 1. S1 is 1. S0 is 0. So S1 is 1. Whereas S0 is 0. S0 is 0. S0 is 0. So 0 means what will happen? The first two data input will be selected as the output. That is I0. 0 means first two data input will be selected as the output. So that is I2. But here the selection input is 1. So 1 means the second data input will be displayed as the output. What is the second data input? I2. So I2 will be displayed as the output. So next S0 is 1. So S0 is 1 as well as S1 is also 1. Okay. So S0 is 1 means what? The second S0 means 1 means the second data input will be selected as the output. Next S0 is 1 means the second data input will be selected as the output. Here S1 is 1 means the second data input will be selected as the output. What is the second data input? I3 is the output. So we, we, this, uh, this truth table is correct. So with this we can conclude that this multiplexer is correct only. So in order to implement a 4 by 1 multiplexer using 2 by 1 multiplexer, totally we require 3 2 by 1 multiplexers.